Alright, what's up guys? It's your least favorite YouTube reviewer here, and today I'm going to try and make a quick review on the liquid barn, do it yourself, starter kit or liquid kit, uh, whatever you want to call it. And basically, it comes with everything you need right out of the box, literally, to um, make your own e liquid with uh, the flavors that you choose or uh, flavors you already have, whatever, you know. Um, uh, so, before we get up and close, I want to uh, tell you about the uh, different options you have. So, the Do Yourself Starter Kit, liquidbarn.com. Uh, $63.99, that includes 10 flavors of your choice, uh, one 5 milliliter bottle of VG, and one 500, I say 500 milliliter bottle of PG, or if uh, you don't like PG or you don't like VG, you can get two bottles, so 100 milliliters of VG or PG. And that's without nicotine, so the starter kit without nicotine is $63.99, not including shipping, and then uh, the same kit with nicotine is $73.99 and that's 250 milliliters of uh, nicotine in a PG or VG base you can choose and it's, I believe it's limited to 48 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, so you're getting a decent amount of nicotine. Alright, so uh, yeah I think that's it. Let's uh, go ahead and... Alright guys, we're up and close. Well, as close as I can possibly get it because I don't have a tripod. Um, but yeah, so um, I've had this kit for about uh, two months, maybe two and a half months now, and I just now decided to do a review because I've uh, basically made a decision on uh, what I think of it. So, alright. Let's start off with the boring stuff, the lab work kit. Now, the package, um, when you receive it in the mail, it's uh, you know it comes in a cardboard box and it comes in three separate uh, separate boxes. Um, so yeah, there's the lab work kit. Hope that's showing up. This is uh, the biggest box actually. And uh, let's see. get to this later. Now in the lab work kit, you get uh, two be uh, two beakers or cylinders, whatever you want to call them, plastic. One's a hundred mil. Okay, yeah, they're both a hundred milliliters. And you have to excuse me and just wash this one out. And you get two graduated cylinders, plastic, um, twenty-five milliliters. Of course, you can put more in there, but twenty-five milliliters and a ten milliliter. So depending on the batch size, you know, you're you're covered right there. Also included with the kit is a lot of syringes. I've actually ran out of syringes and I'm gonna to have to pick up some more, uh, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, I hope so. But it comes with a lot of syringes. It comes with the uh, blunt needle tips. The green one is the one I use for the VG because it's uh, it's the, the widest, you know, the VG is thick and whatnot. So. <laughs> so yeah, it comes with a bunch of uh, syringes. These are the one milliliter syringes. And it comes with, I think, five of the five milliliter syringes. And of course, it comes with different blunt needles, which I don't have with me right now, which is odd. But it comes with a, a green one, a pink one, and a purple one, I think. Uh, the pink and the purple are good for your liquid and PG. And then the green one is what I prefer the, for the VG, uh, the VG uh, flavor. Flavors that are, you know, in VG form. VG also includes uh, 10 15 milliliter plastic bottles. And it comes with, you know, your uh, caps and uh, no, or whatever, the grippers or whatever. It doesn't come with any glass, you have to wear that separate. So if you want some uh, glass 30 milliliters or whatever, you're going to have to order that separate. Also comes with a uh, milk frother, um, also you know your liquid mixer to uh, mix up your liquids in a batch. It requires two uh, 
double A or triple A batteries, which they do not include. Here, let me try real quick. Uh, yeah, double A batteries. You're gonna need two double A batteries to uh, use this. So you're gonna have to pick up some double A batteries. Um, also comes with your labware kit manual. It explains basically everything that comes in the labware kit. Also comes with 10 pairs of uh, safety gloves, but I've run out just like I run out of syringes basically, so I'm gonna have to get some more of those. But yeah, they, they work pretty well, you know. Uh, hope this is showing up for you guys. So yeah, basically, that's it. So that's the lab work kit. That's everything that you need to measure, uh, you know, mix, put in bottles or whatever uh, for your flavors. Now that that stuff is out of the way, let's go and get to, well since I've already shown this, like I said they come in three separate boxes, I just had this in the one box because uh, it's, you know, it's easier to carry two boxes than three. So this is your flavor kit. Now you can choose up to ten flavors, um, they have a lot of different options from uh, fruits to uh, creams, desserts, you know, all that kind of stuff. And They've actually uh, came out with a few new ones, like five or six of them, but they're not yet available in the flavor kit. So if you uh, get the, the, the starter kit, the do-it-yourself kit, uh, you're not going to be able to select the new ones, but you can always, or always order those separate and they're not expensive. So, so yeah, the flavor kit comes in this uh, nice box, basically. As you can see, it's uh, kind of beat up, but it, yeah, it comes with this. I actually like this, I don't know why. So here are all the flavors. Um, they usually come wrapped, like sealed wrapped, you know, all nice. They're not rolling around like they are right now. And uh, the flavors I got are Pacific Cooler, Strawberry, uh, Root Beer, Pineapple, Green Apple, Pink Lemonade, which I absolutely love. Uh, let's see, Cola Freeze, which is basically a, uh, a popular soda drink. <laughs> we got Dew Mountain, which is another popular soda refreshment. <laughs> we got Blue Raspberry, and this is a candy blue raspberry. It's not a natural, so if you like um, Jolly Ranchers, um, this is what this is uh, what it tastes like, at least to me. We got cherry blossom tea, and we got orange banana. Now, like I said, it comes with 10 flavors, and I actually ordered the strawberry separate, so I got 11 flavors. So I had to pay like two or three dollars extra for this, but you know, I had to have strawberry. And also inside the kit, the bag, it comes with your flavor kit manual. Basically tells you uh, the suggested uh, mix percentage, low, medium, and high. They, re they recommend starting at 8% for all their flavors. Uh, yeah, basically just you know telling you about the liquids. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. So, uh, I was going over the flavor kit and uh, all the flavors I got, along with your flavor kit manual, which talks about various flavors. Uh, oh, that's, yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. So, yeah, it's your flavor kit. And, uh, it's gonna these Come in uh, glass bottles, too. They're 15 milliliters each. Pretty nice bottles, and not plastic or anything. But, uh, it would be So the last kit is a liquid kit. Let me get a uh, drink real quick. I'm actually uh, vaping on uh, the pineapple flavor that I just uh, finished yesterday. If you like pineapple, uh, 
It's a great flavor. Now, one thing I want to uh, mention before I get into this, uh, the flavor kit. One thing I regret about all the flavors I uh, picked, I didn't get a single cream or dessert flavor. The, well, the reason is because I love fruits in real life and I love fruit, uh, you know, fruit flavored e-liquids. But um, if you're like me, I would totally suggest at least getting one cream or dessert um, because, you know, with cream, it mellows out everything, and the cream would just make the orange banana. Well, a lot of the flavors just go a lot better, like the root beer with the vanilla ice cream. But, yeah. So, here we go, the liquid kit. Now, I got the version with nicotine. So, you're going to have to excuse the mess. So, you get your 500 milliliter bottle of VG, vegetable glycerin, USB kosher. Comes with these uh, little uh, drip nozzles or whatever, so it's easier to fill up. Uh, you get a 500 milliliter of profiling glycol. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with the labeling. It must be the uh, condensation affecting the ink. But yeah, 500 milliliters USB kosher, and then the nicotine. You get 250 milliliters of USB grade nicotine. I got mine in the PG base, you can get it in uh, the VG base if that's what you prefer. And yeah, 48 milligrams, I uh, haven't had a problem with it. Um, but when you're working with nicotine, always wear gloves. And if you spill any, make sure to clean it up uh, right away. And if you get any on your skin, you want to wash that off uh, right away. Don't just, you know, wait a couple minutes, you know. You never know with nicotine. And the rest, uh, and then like I said, it comes with a, another uh, dripper nozzle or whatever. This is for the PG one, since I already have it on the uh, VG. But I don't use this because I don't use a lot of PG. I just use uh, the syringe for the PG, and that's how I like it. So, um, might I also suggest when you're storing your propylene glycol, your PG, and especially your nicotine, you keep it in a bag and you keep it up in an area where sunlight is not going to get to it. And especially if you have kids or brothers and sisters who uh, wouldn't know any better if they got into this. Um, you do not want them to be messing around with the nicotine because that can be pretty bad. So. Yeah, I keep it up, I keep it in a bag and I uh, store it in like a, a dark cool closet usually. But, so yeah, that's uh, it for the up and close and let's go back to normal view I guess. Alright, so basically in my opinion this is a great kit if you're wanting to get in, uh, start getting into uh, making your own e-liquid because you know it includes everything right out of the box you don't have to go to the store for anything um, as soon as you get it you can start making e-liquid of course you know you're going to want to wear gloves and make it in a sanitary environment but um, I really enjoyed it or I'm really enjoying the kit so far I paid for a total I think around $90 um, that was including the shipping and the one extra flavor so yeah, it was a uh, 90 something. So it's not cheap, but it, you know, it pays off in the long run. You know, you don't have to keep uh, spending uh, 21, 22 dollars for 30 mils. That's, you know, that's ridiculous. When you know you can make pretty good stuff um, at home using this kit. And there's uh, recipes online, so if uh, you're not sure about, you know, what recipes to start with and whatnot, uh, you know, there's there's some online, and you can also substitute these flavors for, uh, you know, Capella, the flavor apprentice. You know, they'll probably work just as well. I've done that before, but uh, yeah, but yeah, you can use the fl uh, flavors with, you know, all different brands of flavorings, I guess. But yeah, this basically. Uh, my review hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you're interested in uh, 
a liquid barn starter kit. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, like I said, expensive at first, but it definitely pays off in the long run. But yeah, I do recommend it and I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, so like I said, make sure you get at least one cream or dessert because after a while, all, f uh, all the fruit flavors and the soda beverages, they kind of get old. So you want to, I, I suggest at least getting one cream or dessert, but yeah. So that was, uh, that's basically it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, that's the end I guess.